finding the LCM find the LCM LCM of let's find the LCM of 8 12 and 4 to 5 okay in finding the LCM of 8 12 and 4 to 5 well first of all find out the prime factorization the prime factorization of 8 we start with the even number 2 we divide with the even number 2 2 divide by 8 you get 4 2 in 4 you have 2 and 2 in 2 you get 1 so the prime factorization for 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 okay let's try the prime factorization for 12 we draw a line and another one below we use we start with 2 2 and 12 you have 6 2 and 6 you get 3 2 can no longer divide 3 because there will be a remainder so you use 3 3 is the next prime is the next prime number okay 3 in 3 you got 1 so the prime factorization for 12 is 2 times 2 times 3 okay the prime factorization for 4 to 5 4 to 5 okay draw a line draw another line we can start with 2 because 2 if 2 to should divide 4 to 5 there's going to be a remainder so let's go to 3 yeah 3 can divide without a remainder 3 in 4 1 then you take the 1 to this 5 becomes 15 3 in 15 5 okay 3 can still go 3 in 15 you have 5 okay 3 can no longer go so we we'll try the next prime number which is 5 5 and 5 1 so the prime factorization for 4 to 5 is 3 times 3 times 5 okay so what's the LCL the LCM like you know like we know is for 2 or the factor of 2 2 is appearing 3 times here why here it is appearing 2 times okay so we'll take the highest so we're going to take this 2 times 2 times 2 then we'll look for another factor which is 3 3 is appearing one time yeah why it is appearing two times here yeah? so we'll take the highest so that means we'll take the one that is appearing two times okay then 5 is the next factor for 5 5 is appearing just one so that's the highest that we know so we'll bring down the 5 so now we can use the calculator to calculate this 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 3 24 24 times 3 is 72 72 times 5 is 360 so the LCM is 360 Thank you for watching and God bless you.